December the 14th, today is wisdom. A way which seemeth right. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 14, 12. In this verse, the wise calls his audience out to consider the finality of his way. Do we know the outcome of the way we want to take, or that we just took? Every individual comes to the world with several needs that must be satisfied, so that the latter can live a fruitful, blossom, and abundant life. When one of these basic needs are not met, automatically your frustration will follow. How do we deal with frustration? Due to the generational ignorance in terms of frustration management, everyone does as he saw or as he feels good. From the first day of his conception, the little one fights to meet his vital needs. Most of the bad behaviors observed in adults are as old as the predatory period and the first six years following their birth. Because of the frustrations undergone in his childhood, the adult will indulge in every sort of compensations, seeking pleasures or strong sensations without taking into account the consequences which will naturally and logically follow. There is a three ways crossroads which outcome leads to hell. It's the crossroad of sin and law. Its three ways are 1. The way of love of power. 2. The way of the love of money. 3. The way of the love of sex. In this crossroads, one step of man is enough to be drifted away. There is another crossroads. This one has multiple roads, and all its ways leads to life. It's the crossroad of grace. In this crossroads, the winners cultivated the arts of losing, be it in a conjugal family issue or in any other battle in life. In which crossroads do we find ourselves? The art of losing is the ability to give up on our own justice, to embrace that of God. It's the boldness to bear some injustices. It's the courage to renounce fleshly pleasures. It's the wisdom to abandon our legitimate rights for the glory of God, so that the name of God be everywhere and in all sanctified and glorified. The art of losing is the lifestyle of dead disciples, those ones who consider themselves to be dead to sin, and to all the other pleasures and privileges of their old, present, and future life, to live only of God, by God, and for God. Jesus says, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Matthew 6, 22, 23 The eye equal to the eyes of the head, Good eye equal to eye in good health, evil eye equals to a blind, the light that is in the darkness equals to the eyes of the heart not enlightened by the word of God. It means that not to behave according to the word of God is to remain blind, though seen, and to go straight to hell. Truth, the absence of the word of God in the heart maintains in spiritual blindness and leads straight in the way of death. Application, to be filled with the word of God every day to walk according to God's direction. Promise? Well withal shall a young man cleanse his way, by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Psalm 119.9 Let's pray together. Father, lead me every day according to the direction of your word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today's reading, Psalm 66-70, verse 14, you are blessed.